right guys, today we are back at the water, back at the spot that I've been fishing the last day. Got one rod, got my jig right here, and pretty much I'm gonna fish this area really quick. I'm gonna fish the same way I've been fishing it the last two days. Just gonna flip my jig out, slow roll it across the bottom, like you would fish a jig, and then we're gonna make our way on this trail. We're gonna do some exploring today. It's our last day here. So we're gonna explore. We're gonna try and find some fish, see if we can find anything cool. Got a lot of grass. Hopefully find some area that's not overrun, completely overrun by grass that'll make it a little bit easier to fish. But, Let our day number two fishing trip begin. All right, I only spent about 10 or so minutes out here, but I think it's time to start making our way down the path and see what we can find. All right, guys, I know it's a little hard to see my face. It's kind of shaded back here. I made it to the first little spot where I can jump down and fish. Let me see if I can angle you guys down a little bit so you guys can see. First little spot where I can jump down and fish. I'm gonna climb down here. Oh, actually, before I climb down here, somebody's rod broke. I found a broken rod tip. That sucks for whoever that was. But I'm gonna jump down here and We are gonna cover as much water as we can with this jig. So that seems to be what has been working out here. I heard one guy caught a fish on a chatterbait yesterday, and when he when he had the one on the chatterbait, he thought his line broke, so he reached out to grab it. Had it broke off, and when he grabs his line, he pulls. Get a fish. So. I'll take this moment to tell you guys. You guys want to see any cool pictures from my trip? There's some pictures of deer. There's some pictures of me just out fishing. There's some pictures of got some pictures of the sunset. If you guys want to see any pictures from this trip? Go follow me on Instagram. Link down below at Rod Benning with Jacob. Same as my YouTube. Go give me a follow. That's not good. My line is fraying. Before I do any more fishing, I'm gonna have to cut off this part of the line that's fraying. So, I will see you guys in a few minutes. I'm not sure you guys can see, but way out there a fish just jumped. My dad was talking to an older gentleman yesterday who said that when he comes out here and catches bass, he catches a lot of four pounders, so. Hopefully we can find one of those four pounders to get on them. But I want to be able to make sure I do a lot of exploring today. So I've only fished here for about 10, 15 minutes and we're gonna keep heading down the path. See you guys at the next spot. 
Oh, literally only walked maybe like 10, 15 feet from the last spot. Found this spot right here. Looks pretty good. So, we'll flip the jig. Some bass fishermen, it looks like, out on the other side of the lake. We will find the fish. We made it to the next area. These birds out here, I believe those are geese. They're loud, man. So you gotta you come out here on this rock. And I'm gonna beat this jig around. I never much was a guy that fish with a jig. I had only caught one fish with a jig until this weekend. But I caught number two. And my brother caught his first jig fish. Pretty cool. But man, I can't wait. Up where I live, in about a week or so, maybe maybe two weeks, the bass will start being on bed. And man, am I here. Kind of fun, flipping on the bed. I've never bed fished for bass, because I really didn't. I mean, I've been a fisherman my whole life, but I really didn't fish for bass until about last year after COVID first started so I can't wait to be able to catch some fish on beds. If you're excited to catch fish on beds this year, or if you already have been, hit the like button. Let me know. And if you guys are excited to see me catching fish on beds, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. I guarantee, I'm probably gonna break my PB this year on a bed. My PB is a 4-2, actually caught out of this lake here. It was last June. Hopefully, that can happen again. But I don't know. Hopefully, it'll happen. If I get back up here this way, I'm trying to come up. That was a struggle. Man. All right, guys. The last time I was here, the water was much higher, but it's pretty shallow back in here. I figured the water will be warmer. A little cut in. So I'm just going to flip the jig through here, even though it's pretty shallow. The bass might be holding up in here because it's warmer.
highly recommend. Anytime you guys come out fishing a new place, start with something slow or something that you catch fish on a lot, something that you know is good to catch fish. Got some weeds. If you you know it's really good at catching fish, and you, you know how to fish it and catch fish on it, that's what you should start with. You should always start off with something you know or something slow. Last time I was out here, I didn't really know too much of what I was doing. So I didn't catch that many fish. And it's the time of year of throwing something slow. And I don't know this place, so I decided to throw something slow. And I found the fish in day one. This is just a little tip I got. Always, always start off slow if you don't know the body of water. Man, those birds are annoying. We are going to keep moving. All right, I know you guys can't see very well, or at all, but right out here in front, there's a lot of small bluegill that are like little little eater size for bass. So I'm actually gonna turn you guys more this way towards where I'm gonna be fishing. Oh, way too high. You guys don't need to be that high. And we're gonna try and sneak around here and flip. All in this area. Cause there could be a bass hanging out right there. Those all appear to be bluegill. Because I know this lake has a lot of bluegill in it. Yeah, those appear to be bluegill. But, where there's bait fish, the bass is surely not far. I'm going to flip all up in this area. Got the bass getting ready to munch on these bluegill. I'll let you guys know if I find that bass. Alright guys, we made it to a small cove. It looks really good. The water's probably warmer back in here. And we, I've only been here about two, three minutes. And I already heard one bust the surface, so... I want this little cove back in here. And... Hopefully we find one. Alright guys, I'm not sure how well you can see. 
but there are deer walking all through those woods. Oh, there's one. This place is just full of deer. It's pretty cool. The whale's coming up through the water. Startle. Pretty cool, guys. All right, guys, out here I got one bite, so we're gonna keep going, keep moving spots. I was talking to some um, kids out here who had kayaks and they were kayaking by. They said that out of this lake here, one of them, his PB is a 10-1 that he caught out of this lake and another one said his PB is a I believe a 7-5 is what he said and it was also caught out of this lake so this lake holds some big fish so hopefully I can find one so let's keep going gonna go over to the side where the deer were and just keep on walking let's get on him this spot all right guys I came up to this spot I wanted to fish out that way. As much as I wanted to fish here because it got some rocks, it looks kind of nice. I'm actually going to just keep moving because as I came up, I spooked a goose that was sitting right on its eggs. I don't want to get too close. I want to disturb it. There was a goose sitting right there on his nest. So I'm gonna leave this spot so that the goose can come back and sit on its eggs. And I'm actually just gonna keep moving and leave this spot undisturbed. Alright, guys, just so you all know, if you come across a nest like that, you wanna make sure you leave it alone because. If you get too close or you start messing with the eggs, that mama goose is gonna come after you. And they are not gonna like the fact that you were over there by their nest. That's why I left that spot. This will probably be the last spot for today, but if I keep fishing, I'll, I'll leave the GoPro on and get footage. So, probably the last spot. We haven't gotten anything so far, but let's see if we can get something. The water is a lot clearer right here. So, and it looks a little deeper than it has been looking. So hopefully we can get on a couple. These weeds, man. This lake is known for weeds. For one thing. I could keep journeying out because the path keeps going and keep filming, but 
It's the last day here camping. I want to be able to spend some time with my family and just fish with my nephews. So, probably ju just have the GoPro on later if I fish more of them and if I catch one. So, we're probably going to end the video here. Catching fish, which we saw deer, and we saw a goose nest, which was pretty cool. You guys should like the video if you guys like seeing this kind of stuff, like seeing the adventure, because I'll definitely go on little day trips where I go out somewhere and I just hike around and do a bunch of fishing where I bring one, maybe two rods. I brought other lures, but the jig was working, so I just kept on the jig. So if you like this type of video, smash the like button. If you like this type of video, hit that subscribe button, because there's definitely gonna be more of these coming. I definitely enjoyed today getting to explore, see the outdoors, I don't go I don't go camping very often and see the outdoors as much as I should. And if you guys are subscribing and liking, it'll let me know this is what you guys want to see and I'll do it more often. Drop in the comments places you guys want to see me go fish. I live in kind of upper central, lower northern California. You guys can drop some spots that you guys want to see me fish. I trout fish and I bass fish, so you guys can give me both types of spots. I also fish for like stripers and stuff, so you guys can drop all your spots. There should be a video for you guys to click on, and there should be an icon for you guys to click on that will allow you guys to subscribe, tell your friends about me, let everybody know. I'm actually possibly thinking if we hit 200 subscribers, that's right, 200, because I have about 20, 25 right now. If we hit 200 subscribers by the month of June, I will get a kayak. And I will begin kayak fishing all my spots and anywhere you guys want to see me kayak fish. That requires 200 subscribers by June. So tell your friends about me, tell everybody, let them all know. I will catch y'all either in a few minutes in the video, if I end up catching a fish later. Otherwise, I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.